there. Thanks for joining me to color. Today we're going to be working on my Color Wednesday blog post for February 15th, 2017. We're going to be working on this super cute Moe's digital pencil image called Love You to Bits. Isn't she fabulous? I will put a link down in the description box to the image if you'd like to head over and grab one and color along with me. If you have a question, leave me a comment and I'll make sure to get back to you. Otherwise, I printed my image on Nina 80 pound solar white cardstock. So let's color. So I'm going to start out by giving my girl an outline. For that, I'm going to use C double zero and B quadruple zero. I'm going to start with my B quadruple zero. And I'm going to give her a little bit of blue. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to start at her boot. So I'm going to go right here to boot. I'm just going to flick away from her. And I like to do this first because if I get some on her, it's easier to erase. And I don't have to worry about touching any other colors. And we're going to go up this way. And let's see here. Let's pull away from this a little bit. And I'm going to go up here and around for this little piggy tail up here. Let's go in there. A little bit of background showing right here. I'm not going to go all the way around. I'm just going to give it a little bit of blue. Maybe a little bit on this side of her pigtail. And up over here to this little one that's sticking out. Well, I'm going to turn her around. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So I'm going to start here at um, the top of her boot. And we're just going to flick away from her. I'm just going to pull my pin sideways away from, as far as my, my hand will just naturally go. Go in here. And back up to her pigtail. And let's go up here to right then this way. Like that. Then I'm going to grab my C double zero. Whoops, turn it around. And for that, I'm going to use that to go where I didn't put the blue. So let's start at the top of her boot. There, and then we'll go up here to her hair. So right here we've started our blue. So let's do a little bit of a color around the outside of this. That'll give it a little bit more shadow. Or you could also go clear around with the blue. I was just trying out something new. Like that. Next, we're going to do our skin. For that, we're going to use E11 double zero triple zero. For her cheeks, I'm going to use E93. I'm going to start with my E11. And let's do her arms right here first. So I'm going to go, she's got a little bit of her little heart pillow or her pillow here, touching her arm. So I'm going to go underneath that. And then I'm going to do a little bit on the end of, or the bottom of each finger. And then same for this side. Let's go, I'm going to do a little bit here at the end too. And then where her wrist is, we'll get a little bit of a shadow there. And here she's got her fingers poking out. Okay, then I'm going to go with my E double zero. And I'm going to color in her whole hand. Give it a couple coats. And we'll hop up here and we will do her face. So grab your E11 again. And let's see, let's do inside of her ear, right here. And this side. And then we do the bottom of her ear over here. And then for her face, let's go right down the edge of her face, down to this little pillow. And I'm going to bring this side up to touch her ear over here. And then on her face here, she's got some little lines, so I'm going to use those. Give 
a little bit of shadow in there. And then she's also got a couple right here underneath of her eyelid. And the bottom of her mouth. And let's see, let's do a little bit here in this little crease. Like that. Then I'm going to grab E00. And let's see, let's color her ear in. And then we're going to run along this line. Let's go up here to her eye. And I'm going to color it again, so I'm not worried if it doesn't blend it all in. Because I want to put some cheek color on here. And then let's bring this up and around her bangs and down the center of her nose right here. Okay, then I'm going to grab E93. And we're going to give her some cheek color. So let's use this little C that's on her cheeks here. And we're going to get a little bit inside of her mouth. Then I'm going to grab E00. And we're going to fill in right over the top of those cheeks. I'm going to go under her nose. And then let's add E triple zero. For this, I'm going to go over her entire face. And I'm going to add some more cheek colors. So let's go with E93 again. Then I'm going to add a second coat of E11. And we'll add E double zero. And then we'll go over all of that with our E triple zero. And I'm going to add another coat of my E93 just to pink those cheeks up just a little bit more. So let's do her hair next. For that, we'll use E27 and 23. I'm going to start with my E27. And let's see. Let's do a little bit down here. A little bit where it's coming away from her little pigtail. She's got a little piece of hair here going over the top of her ear.
work our way over this way. Then we will go over the rest with our E23. So I'm going to fill the rest in. pigtail. Then I'm going to go back with my E27 and I'm going to do a little bit more of that dark in there. Let's hop down here and do the stripes on her pants. For that, we're going to use Y26, 19, and 35. I'm going to start with my Y26. And I'm going to do alternate stripes. So let's start on this one over here. And since this bottom one's so close to her boot, I'm going to color all the way across. Then I'm going to skip one. And a little bit, skip one. Uh, and then we'll do this side over here. And this side over here has got some lines already, so I'm just going to color right over those. And I'm going to color this one in because I, it's pretty dinky there. And then we want to add Y19. And then we'll fill that in with our Y35. Then we'll go down here and we'll do our boots. So for our boots, we're going to use Y26, Y19, Y35, and Y15. So we're going to start with our Y26. Yeah, let's start on this boot down here. So I'm going to do inside. And then we want to do this edge over here. 
And I've just got a little bit of shadow right here, so I'm going to go ahead and fill, do that with my pin too. Do the back of this button. And then I'm going to add Y19. Fill in the inside. Y35. And then Y15. And I also want to give this a second coat. So again, I'm going to start with my Y26. Y19, Y35, and then Y15. Over here, and we'll do this boot. So, again, start with your Y26. Y19. Y35, Y15 to fill it in, And then we also want to give this boot a second coat, so Y26. Y19. Y35, and then our Y15. So let's pop up here and do the pillow. For that, we're going to start with our Y26. And I'm going to use the little stripes or the little um, shadows that Mo put on here for us as my guide for my, sh for my darkest color. That, and then up here, again there's these little stripes up here, little shadow marks.
then we're going to add Y19. And we better give it a little bit of shadow right in here. I'm going to give it a second coat, so I'll probably put Y26 there when I come back. So let's do Y35 next. Build that center section in there. And then we'll fill it in with our Y15. I think I'll leave a little bit of white up here for my second coat on this side. Then we'll start again, so let's grab Y26. And Y19 is next. I forgot to add my Y26 right up here the second time, so let me grab that real quick. And then we'll soften that with our Y19. And then we're going to add Y35. And then our Y15. Oh, whoops, I forgot Y. I forgot my Y35 down here. Got distracted. And then Y15. For her dress, I'm going to use W8, 6, 4, and 2. I'm going to start with my W8. Let's start over here on this sleeve. And 
then we'll do this sleeve. And for her dress, let's see. bit right here. This, and then let's see, she's got a little bit of a wrinkle right here. So let's do, let's see, let's bring this down right like this. Okay, then let's add W6. Then I'm going to add W4. I'm going to fill this sleeve in. Oh, that looks pretty terrible, huh? It's all right. Then we're going to go with W2. We're going to fix it. Camera decided it didn't want to work anymore, I guess. It's taking a break. Turn that back on. Hopefully we didn't miss too much before I notice it clicked off. And then we're going to add W4.
And then W2. And let's see, I think I'll go back again with my W8 just to add a little bit of the shadow back in here. Okay, so let's do W6. And W4. And then our W2. So let's give um, her stripes on her socks a little bit of shadow on the um, white ones. For that, we're going to use C1. And I'm not going to do anything fancy. Just going to go around the east side and add a little, little dab there. And for this sock, the same thing. And then for a boot, let's do a little bit here along the bottom of that. And then the bottom over here on the sides a little bit. And then we're going to give her something to stand on. For that, we're going to use our C1 and C00. So let's go ahead and start with our C1. And we just kind of lean in this way. So let's bring her boot shadow out like this. like that and then up here she's got her boot in the air so let's do a little bit let's go about right here do that now I'm going to take my C double zero and we're just going to extend that a little bit And then I'm going to go over it with a second coat of my C1. Now, I'm going to take my Spica Clear Glitter Pen and add a little bit of um, sparkle to her hair. So let's go like this. Follow some of these that are already got little cute little lines for us.
that. And then I'm going to take my Sharpie white paint pen. I'm going to shake it like crazy with the lid on. So I don't spray it everywhere. And then I'm going to check it to make sure it's actually white. So let's go. Okay, perfect. And then I'm going to add some dots to her dress. So how about... And I'm just going to randomly go... Let's see, let's add a couple of dots to our cheek. So let's go this, and then I'm going to add a couple to her little pillow here. Let's go. So there's our adorable Love You to Bits all colored up. Didn't she turn out fabulous? If you'd like to see what I did with her, you could head over to the store blog and view blog post for February 18th, 2017, and you can see her on the front of a simple card. If you have a question, leave me a comment, and I'll make sure to get back to you. Otherwise, I hope you had fun coloring today, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.